G'day guys, Adam here. Today's topic is just soldering two wires together. Um, basically what we want to do is actually make a connection. Let's say we're building a circuit and we're bringing one wire in from somewhere else. We actually need to connect the wires. What's the best way to do it? Ultimately, there's lots of different ways. I like to, uh, I like to strip the wire bare and give myself plenty of room um, for, the, for the way that I like to do it. I just tighten the wires together and then what I'd like to do is just cross them over like this and then basically twist them from there. When it comes to soldering of the wires you need to just make sure that the wires actually got enough heat in it and of course safety glasses. I like to just warm up the wire before we actually do anything and that'll actually get some heat into it because you need the solder to actually melt through the wire not just touch the sides it needs to actually melt through the wire and you'll see that when when the solder actually gets hot you'll see it actually melt and go right through the whole whole wire and it'll give you a strong good connection i like to cross the wires and wind them like i've just shown you now because when i'm running wires in a straight line and through conduit and that i like to just keep everything running straight so for me, crossing the wires over, making sure that the solder actually goes in nicely is absolutely perfect. One thing that you want to remember is that in, in the solder itself are obviously a lot of chemicals. So try not to breathe in the actual fumes from the solder. And once it warms up, try just turn the soldering iron just up a little bit. But once it warms up, you'll see that that solder will actually melt through the wire itself. And you can see that it sort of just flows, doesn't, it just, it just flows nicely through the wire. Once that's done, one of the most important things is to obviously cover the wire. So what I have here is some black heat shrink. Obviously black wires, I like to use black for earth, red for, for power, so I, I kind of match the heat shrink to that same color as well. We pull the, uh, pull the heat shrink across and make sure we've covered the complete solder or the join. And then just a little bit of gentle heat and you'll see that the heat shrink will actually make a nice seal around it and that way you're protecting it from potentially shorting or working on anything else. Nava has also produced some really cool um, little additions to the soldering side of things and something that you should probably carry whether you're boating, camping or just traveling you should probably carry within your within your, uh, your your breakdown kit is what's called a solder splice basically what it is is heat shrink, solder and believe it or not waterproof seals on either side that will actually shrink down so it's your heat shrink, your solder and everything all in one and you just push them through and, uh, and heat it up and it takes time. It's something that unfortunately is not as fast as actually soldering wires like I've just shown you before. It takes time but what it does is actually gives you a strong solid waterproof connection that's already in heat shrink so there's no steps in it. You just put it in, make sure the wires are touching and then and heat it up. Really good uh, connections and solid strong connections of which the, uh, the electricity will flow, the power will throw, fl flow through it without problems. Nice strong connection. If there's anything you want to see further, comment below and let us know and we'll, we'll make sure we work on it for you. Mm -hmm.